Hey everyone, Team UDF here for more Walking Dead. Um, just as a disclaimer, I may have to stop commentary in this episode at some point, but I will keep going until the time limit. Because people may be heading to bed soon. But I am very excited to keep playing this. Food or something. <laughs> well, all I've got is this weapon you gave me. Who wants to eat the snow? Who wants to eat the snow? Seems like you've done that before. Ooh, this is an interesting... Okay. You wanna try? No way. It's gonna puke. <laughs> Clem, no. <laughs> Too bad. Hold it like this. What's it gonna puke up? It hasn't eaten anything. Well, I guess... Okay. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My name's Jane. I it's, think it's gonna puke. AJ's it's not amused. It's not gonna puke. <laughs> it puked. It puked. Rip. Gross. Luckily, I realized the error of my ways seconds before it actually puked. And is perfectly clean afterwards. This art style, man. There's not much left. Oh, we did have something for it. I was running with some people a long time ago, down near D.C. Huh. Some guy got trapped in the middle of a crosswalk. Ugh. Can't remember his name. He used to call me Mary Jane. Well... He was a douchebag. At least I got that out of the way. Anyway, the dick got stuck under a car hiding from a dozen walkers. One after another, they went down there trying to save him. Lost four people before we got him out. Jeez, man. How bad were these people? So he made it? Well, okay. Didn't find out till later he was already bit. Turned and ripped the neck right out of this old lady. Ugh. The look on her face was... She was just staring up at the sky. Like she was watching a bird. The truck start? No, it failed. Look, Clem. Holy flid. He got it working. Jane's like, ah, oh, crap, now I have to give him a bonus point. It works? what I tell you? So what's the plan? How much food do we have? At least a week. And for the baby? We need to find a place for the baby. Baby. Yeah, someplace warm. I agree. Florida. We should head back south. Actually, what? population just... kind of freeze to death? I don't know whose stupid idea it was to march up here in the first place, but it was a bad one. She's right. What if we went back to house? Wait, what? Fuck that. I was thinking more like Texas. Texas? What the fuck? It was just an idea. We already talked about this. I'm sorry. We did? We're going to find Wellington. Right, Clem? Wellington? <sighs> Kenny, it's freezing up here, man. It's only gonna get worse. We came this far. We're not going back. Nah, man, this is fucking nuts. We don't have to leave right now. Let's just sleep on it. Well, that sounds sensible. Damn it, we don't have time. Uh. Says you. Look, I don't give two shits about what you people think. I got this truck working, so I say where we go. And we're heading fucking north. It's the best chance we got of helping AJ. What about Arbo? Who? Oh, the Rusky? Yeah, he ain't coming with us. You're just gonna leave him here? I don't give a good goddamn where he goes. He's done. He could die. Better him than another one of us. We should ask him what he wants. There's a concept. He knows the area. He can help us. Oh, yeah, some help he's been. He got Luke killed. I ain't gonna say he helped the situation, but maybe if you'd eased up on him before, he wouldn't have run away in the first place. You ever think about that, Kenny? Either way, I'm not going anywhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, me neither. There could be a herd out there. You want that child's blood on your hands, Mike? We're all gonna die out here if you don't calm the fuck down, Kenny. Haven't we been through enough for one day? Jesus fucking Christ. Remember the last time we had a working car and sat around on our asses, Clem? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I gotta give him that one. That was pretty good. God damn it! Both has a joke and his reason, uh, reasoning. Kenny, are you okay? Forget her. He's okay. I half expected Kenny to just drive off. I really did. Talk some sense into him. For his sake. Oh, Mike is going to start some beatdowns of his own. 
Even though Kenny can't be defeated, so I don't know what the point is. Clearly, Kenny cannot be defeated. God damn it! God damn it! That stupid fucking. Get the fuck out of here! It's me! Clem! Sorry, just give me a second. Ugh. Close the door. Can you believe this, Clem? I bring them a working truck, and they act like I just shit in their cereal. I knew Jane would have a stick up her ass, but I thought at least Mike would have more sense. He's turned out to be a real disappointment. They're scared of you, Kenny. Well, if their big plan is to wander around in the woods, they ought to be scared of more than me. Did you hear me? We're all scared. Look, we got maybe a day's worth of food for that kid left. That's it. Yup. Clem. Think about Rebecca and Alvin. I mean, what if Lee hadn't gone tearing across half of Georgia looking for you? A lot of folks died to make that happen. A lot of folks died to get us this far. We owe it to them to see this done. I know. You're right. Someone's got to keep this group together. That kid's depending on us. <sighs> I wish Lee was here. I appreciate that they drew in the mirrors the whole time. What do you think he'd say? Oh, wow. Let's see. Hmm. Keep the group together. Yeah, definitely to keep the group together. That was our Lee. I think he'd tell me to try to keep the group together. And that we should keep moving. I think you're right. We can't just give up on this kid. I mean, what's the point of going on after that? That's what people like Lee knew. And what people like Jane won't ever understand. Look, I know Wellington might be bullshit, but where there's smoke, there's fire. Krista heard about it too, right? This is true. We could still find her, maybe. You know, when I first wait, saw wait, you wait, back I at that lodge, I thought I was dreaming. I can't remember if she was shot and in the head or not. When you sat down next to me and we shared that meal, well, I could tell that you were different now. Grown up. I felt pride. A pride I hadn't felt in a long time. I'll have to look back at episode one. But I need you now, Clem. There have to be folks doing better than us. It's the only chance that child has. Something has to be out here. We'll find it, Kenny. I knew I could count on you, Clem. Partners forever, buddy. Look, we'll figure everything out in the morning. We just gotta kinda get you to chill. Let's get some sleep. So we gotta be ready. That's even possible. Okay. Oh boy, what's that noise? Is it Freddy Frazbear? No, oh, okay. Someone's punching something. Maybe? Oh, it's swinging in the wind. Okay. Wait a minute. What the flit is going on out here? Pull gun. Really? Easy. Easy now. Step back. Clown. Shit. What are you doing? I got the rest of it. Clown. Oh my god. You... Just leave it. Where's the child? You were gonna take everything? Now keep it down. Everything we have. Listen, we just gotta get away from that guy, Clem. Okay? Who? Kenny? Damn it, just we don't have time for this. Come on, Mike. Let's just go.
Can't believe we're the head of a standoff. Things All have right, things have really changed. Now I'm gonna walk up to you nice and slow, and you're gonna give me the gun, okay? And then we'll talk. Kenny, Jane, help! They're robbing us. Oh. You pieces of trash. I should have seen Arvo getting his revenge, though. Clementine. He really got the crap. Oh, hello, flashback. Uh, Lee? It's just a bad dream, sweet pea. What was it about? Duck? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick. But my brother always had something. We're gonna pretend we're freaking out because we've seen this before. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? We're like lapsing and can't believe that this is happening, so we're I gonna bad. comment on that. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. You didn't mean it. Lee? Why did Lily do that to Carly? Oh, this is what. Okay. I don't know. She was sad, Clem. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? One time. Clem. People don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. And it's hard to keep being yourself after they do. Do you think we should have let Lily stay? Ah, uh, no. I don't think so. I don't know. It wasn't easy. Crazy freaking. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't a right answer. I hate math. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about, even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That it'll be okay. This goes along with what we've been saying in the episode. It will. It's gonna get better, Clem. You'll make it better. Everything's gonna be all right. On the season, rather. <laughs> Oh my god, this episode is amazing. Now let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. Uh... 
I can't believe how much this is actually drawing me into the story. This is this is freaking incredible right now. This whole episode. All right, let's see what happens when we wake up. There's a gunfight. Oh man. Slow down. Shut up. We beat him. She's awake. Holy flid. How narrowly did that mit wait a minute. There's there's no way. Hey you. Clam. Oh, thank God. You passed out from the shock. We've been worried as hell. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. Huh. It'll okay. burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? We never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I can't believe they did that. I don't think they knew what they were doing, except trying to get away. Yeah, well, they're gone now. Good fucking riddance. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to Howes. Carver's camp? What the fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And hmm. it was overrun by a damn herd. I don't care where we go. Just please, stop arguing. She's the one that's going off. Because you won't listen to a thing I'm saying. What's that? You're talking into my bad ear, sweetheart. Jackass. <laughs> oh, I still can't hear you. Look, even if there okay. is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead finger. Oh, boy. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. What's it matter? Let's ah. play game, Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut wow. your fucking mouth. I am done. Playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Don't you fucking talk about them. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita got bit, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? Oh, boy. I was there. I couldn't. God damn you, I love that woman. Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh, the feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? Shoot. You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Jesus. <laughs> You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you all right? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll 
I'll try to meet you there. All right? If you're going, go now. Kenny. Well, that was fast. I mean, we get to finish our thought. That fucking asshole. I don't want to save. God. All right, hold on. This frame rate is pissing me off. What is it doing? Is it just I this can't scene? Do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. Yeah, it's just this scene. Okay. I tried, but I just can't. You're both losing it. Clem, everyone's like that around him. You know that. I'm waiting for a save point, Clem, honestly. We could leave. Right now. Oh, God. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? This is too good of a cliffhanger. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time when uh, divide and conquer has never been a more appropriate strategy to describe this. All right. <laughs> Boy. Did I say thanks for watching? I can't remember. Oh, man, I'm so tired. Boy.